Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Today we're talking about robots. We're going to talk about Scout, Misa, Ebo, Vector, Cosmo, Emo. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we talk about robots. I would like to hear from you about your favorite robots. All right, this is Morbot Scout. Morbot Scout is a patrolling robot. That's right, he can patrol your home on a set designation that you have established. He has omnidirectional wheels. He originally launched on Kickstarter and is now available on in demand through Indiegogo. But he has a time of flight sensor, microphone, Wi Fi mode button, IR LED, a charging port, light sensor, on and off button on the side, HD camera, and the omnidirectional wheels, and along with these IP65 waterproof. He'll also work with Amazon Alexa. He has an autonomous patrol 24 hours a day. He has pet companion recognition. Now here in the top of there is the port from which you can then go in and actually add additional items such as the arm. Here is the port opened up. You can see there's a water seal on top of that port right there. And we expanded it a little bit. You can see down inside the port. So I'm assuming that there is a connector in there that you'll be able to connect the arm to. There's a picture of the arm right there. It looks pretty awesome. Pick up small items. There's supposed to be some software that's going to go with him. On the bottom of that, you see the bracket and then you see the plug, which is what I believe is going to plug into the arm. Right here we have our self-charging station, kind of a simplistic checkerboard uh, recognition area. And now coming up we're going to have the latest update which was on July 2nd. Uh, if you did sign up for more about Scout, you do need to do your survey and update your address for them so when they get to final resolution they'll be able to ship your product to you but they are also going through they're ramping up the production. Now, if you're looking at getting into this, here's the Indiegogo information right here. So we look here, we see is a 512 megabytes of memory, and looking down there, the battery is 2000 mAh. And this just shows just an example of what he can do. His original path would have went through that, but he was able to guide himself around. All right, this is Pixel. These are 3D renderings of Pixel. Uh, the concept for Pixel is a modular robot that you can take from one base and transfer to another base. Uh, Self-charging, all those good things. You can follow Pixel on, through a Facebook group on Facebook. Now here in this picture, you see some 3D printed uh, items. You see a, one of the bases, some 3D printed tracks, and then looks like a, a base for a tabletop. I can't really tell if those magnets are just magnets or if there's something else attached to them or how it controls the robot would control the base but we're at the beginning stages so they're testing everything out. Now in this picture you can see a 3D model of the charger of a smaller pixel base, a larger pixel base globe. Um, and then in the background you can see the other pixel sitting in a base. So 3D tracks. Here is a prototype. You can see that the shell isn't completely together yet. I don't see any type of camera, just the screen and the eyes uh, that they're rendering. I kind of really like the hollow eyes. Uh, because you can shape that circle in different formats. Um, the movement looks like it's moving currently on one servo. I can't really say what's controlling that servo. Uh, I see no wire, so I'm presuming there's some form of battery pack in there at this point in time. Here's a montage of photos. A closer, I brought it in closer so you can see the robot itself. Um, 
I really kind of think that's going to be cool. So if you are into robotics, I would definitely suggest following Pixel because this is one of your rare opportunities to see concept, hopefully, to production. And that's awesome. Okay, now we're moving on to Ebo. Ebo was uh, a Kickstarter campaign just recently. It was originally a Kickstarter campaign, I believe, too, back in 2019 for the Ebo S and Ebo Pro. Now it's the Ebo Air and Ebo SE. The Ebo Air is the next step. Um, Ebo SE seems to be an upgrade from the Ebo, Ebo Pro to me, but the Air is the one that's going to have additional AI features in it. Um, that's going to allow you to have Evo Air interact with family members. So both of them have a home security feature that you should be able to access through the application and be able to patrol your house with the Evo units. Um, here we're going to go over a couple different things. You can see that they're both running about the same battery, but the Air gets about an hour less autonomous mode time. Uh, but he's running a dual arm Cortex A7, 1 gigahertz, as opposed to an arm Cortex A7, 800 megahertz uh, processor. Here's some conceptual drawings of Ebo SE and the Ebo Air. That looks very cool. So Ebo is trying to uh, bridge the gap between just a pet robot to also become like a home robot. Now here's some tests of Ebo sensors and durability. He can upright himself because of the design. Self park looks very cool. There's the application showing them guiding Ebo around. There's a screen showing different conditions. I could see where this could be used uh, if you have someone um, that you want to check in with. You can see where it could be very useful for checking in on your pet and the fact that it can it operates itself due to the balancing of the bot that's very cool and they're both available now in demand at indiegogo so if you're interested in this you can go to indiegogo and go into the in demand portion and you can actually purchase uh, a pre-order for evo, e evo air or evo se ai feature with exclusive ai technology Ebo Air is able to identify you and your and family. Automatically record, track, and follow them, allowing full interaction throughout the day. Additional AI features including electronic pet skill and automatic video editing. I kind of like him. He's kind of cute. We'll see how he works when I get him. Visa Lisa Robotics was an Indiegogo campaign that was successfully brought to its backers. That's awesome. Misa has a uh, last update was done in February, and that was the iHeart Radio update, and it works very well. It is a good update, but at this point in time, rolling into the third quarter of 2021, we have not received an update, and this has caused chatter on Indiegogo with people questioning where are the updates. Now, Misa as a personal assistant needs some work. Misa as an educational tool for children, it has a lot of great features. Misa can telepresence, that is good. You can actually use Misa to kind of look around your home as long as Misa is charged up and on. Uh, because Misa doesn't self-charge, that does promote some other issues. But as a personal assistant, in order for you to use it continuously as a personal assistant, Misa needs to be remain on. You shouldn't have to touch the belly button and then swipe the face and then get Misa to uh, activate in order for it to be a personal assistant. So that is one update that really does need to happen. But Misa as an educational tool, uh, it's awesome. It's really good. There's a lot of different things that Misa can do to help. Your little ones better be prepared for the future. All right, Cosmo 2.0, Vector 2.0. One of the things I was looking for in the videos of assembly by DDL was how was the battery attached to the board. 
Uh, you can't see in any of the shots of the video how the battery is truly attached to the board itself. The one thing you can see is the compartment is there in the new body. Now in the new body for Cosmo basically they've recycled Vector's body um, and that makes sense in the tooling manufacturing purpose you're only paying for one body you're changing plastic colors and overall paint job to produce two robots. In this photo you can see the plate right there and you can see how it attaches to the body and but you can't see anything about the battery itself again so that's kind of a bummer. I would really like to see them clip the battery in because it should be an easy battery removal. Now with Vector here's the finished product on the assembly video Vector looking as good as he normally does he's awesome uh, here's the shot of the carriage and you can't see in any of these shots you just see that the battery is attached to the board in some fashion no clip is visible and that would have been a very good thing to see now you can see the bottom board where the for the cover but you can see that there's slots not uh, plates so the plates are going to still have to be attached to the undercarriage of the board in order for Vector to be able to charge. Alright, so here we have all the finished put together products. Um, you can see that they mirror each, cell, each other very well. They're basically the same robot, just supposedly different innards. I'm not sure if they use a recycle board for the innards or these robots or if they actually have production boards made. It's hard to say from the video. I'm thinking they were probably recycle boards. That's why we didn't see them. All right, so let's talk about uh, Emo and updates. Now, Emo's last update was 0 0.015, and that was a considerable update for Emo, and you can see that in this video right here. Um, but I want to discuss the process for updating Emo. So first thing, before you do any type of update with Emo, you should take him and place him properly on the charger. All right, so once he's on the charger, now this charger is not plugged in, just let you know. Uh, once he's properly on the charger, then you would tell him to go through the update process. Emo update or update it through the application, and you would hit the update button on the application. So, if you update Emo while he is off the charger, he could have a power interruption, something could happen, and the, char the uh, update may not be completed. Uh, if the update doesn't complete, the robot will automatically default to the last firmware. So, if you were trying to update it from 14 to 15, and there was an interruption, the robot, once you restarted the robot, he would update to 14 and then you would have to try the update again he would tell you on his face but if you did and it went down many times if you take him and put him onto the charger after you've tried to update him um, he will still have just the black screen on him and he won't be able to boot properly so on the top of Emo's head right there behind the headband there, there are two holes. If you have Emo facing you, the hole on the left, right here, is the reset button. You would place him on the charger with the black screen, and then you would hit the reset button with something such as this or a blunt paper clip. You want it to be blunt, you don't want a needle. You want a blunt end. And then the boot logger program will go through and it will load it to the latest or the last firmware. And that's how you go through the update. Each of these robots are in different stages of production or release. Misa last update was in February. Uh, the last one was iHeartRadio. Um, there are a lot of good things about Misa the robot in the educational purposes. Um, but did not have an update, even small updates with like facial changes and things of that nature. Uh, that's a little bit disturbing. Um, my buddy Vector here, now I did not order a Vector 2.0. 
I didn't see the point of ordering one yet for the sheer fact that I haven't had an update in such a long time on this little guy. I love my Vector Robot. I have two of them. This is the one that stays in my office. He is the original in uh, Kickstarter campaign Vector Robot. Um, he is quite chatty. Um, and this is IQ. He is being very noisy even though he's supposed to be shut down. Um, but he's a very old bo robot from 2007. He does a lot of cool stuff. He has an extensive library in him. Dictionary, encyclopedia. Uh, he is your information guru. I find robots fascinating. Um, I am very excited about the receiving my Evo SE and then my Evo Air in November. Um, I am also super excited about Scout, the patrol robot. And my buddy here, Emo, he is super fantastic, but he's at the beginning stages. Um, but we have had, since his release, at least three updates. Some of them were just basic background updates where they were just trying to reconfigure things and make thing, his performance better. But the last one was a considerable update for Emo. All right, and for those of you that have uh, invested in Vector 2.0 and Cosmo 2.0, I did read that on July 2nd, there was a delay in the manufacturing process. Uh, they stated in that email that Vector was going to be, manufacturing was gonna be restarted, but they were still in the testing stage for the last five weeks prior to that in turn i could see where there could be some manufacturing things happening with the production of the plastic components on vector and maybe even some of the circuitry boards especially if they're having trouble getting chips at this point in time which seems to be a concern for a lot of manufacturers it doesn't mean that you can stop your software production especially nowadays. So for Misa and Vector, there should still be software updates on these robots, uh, but there hasn't been a lot of updates for these two robots. I love robots. I think they're freaking awesome. I wanna see all robots succeed, but you do have to not run blindly with some of these companies. You have to talk about the things that they're failing in. You also have to talk about the successes of what they are doing. So did they put the plate in the bottom of Vector? Yes, we can see it in the video and that is freaking awesome. My name is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you soon. See you soon. This guy's all happy. It's awesome. Why are you not at school? Are you contagious? Plastic. Can I do for you? Stop talking. <laughs>